Hi, my name is Dave, and today I'd like to show you an interesting and quirky ICAO telescope from the 1970s, early 1970s. This is a 90 millimeter uh, aperture by 840 millimeter focal length, uh, so it's about f9 or so, uh, and it has some uh, interesting features that I'd like to show you uh, that made it fascinating for me. I had to buy one simply to examine this up close and personal. One of the funnest things about this telescope is the cute little finder. This is a 5x15 finder and in the pictures uh, it makes the telescope look a lot bigger because this thing is so tiny and diminutive. Anyway, it's just as cute as it could possibly be. And you can remove it from the tube if you want to. Uh, so you can take it off if you want. No problem. One of the most interesting things about this scope is this uh, curved secondary holder and it's not um, a circle it's uh, more of an elliptical kind of a shape or maybe an egg shape anyway it's kind of a weird shape uh, and the idea here was to uh, eliminate diffraction spikes although why you would want to do that on a telescope of this size it's not doing any photographic work I have no idea anyway here um, is of course the traditional secondary mount with uh, three screws and a traditional kind of an adjustment system. The most interesting thing about this scope and the reason I bought it is because of this uh, very unusual structure here. This is quite rare. You don't see these. Typically you'll see a, a fork mount and maybe that'll have a slow motion on it, but you, you never see these very much. Um, and the idea here is that you have a, an azimuth, which is not, doesn't have any slow motion. It's really crude. This is just ooh, about as cheap as you can get. Uh, it's just a, a crude bearing in there, nothing very substantial at all. And, but then you have this. Now this is an adjustable, this comes in and out like so. So you can adjust that and this goes up and down with the scope and then when you lock it down you've got a certain amount of altitude slow motion so you can move the scope and give it some slow motion and you have a little bit more control there um, interesting strange and you don't see too many of them the only reason I can think iCal might have been doing this was to imitate a GOTO telescope um, I'll show you one of those. Here's, by the way, what it looks like. I want you to notice that this thing doesn't pivot here except in this direction. It doesn't go this way, and this one doesn't go that way. So this cannot be a Crawford mount, as I'll explain in a moment. Here's a couple of pictures of a, uh, a couple of gotoscopes with a Crawford type mount. Okay, now I've got the iCal set up next to my, my mock-up of a Crawford-style mount. This was, uh, I think, first commercialized by Goto in the probably 60s, 70s, something like that. And it may be what they were imitating here with the iCal, or trying to imitate, or maybe trying to convince people that this is similar enough that people would buy it, thinking it was just as good. This is the Crawford style mount, and I've changed it a little bit. I'll put a link to my uh, original video about this. I've modified this slightly, but it's the same thing. Uh, and you can see the difference here. This mount goes like so. This is fixed. This has to be due north and south. This axis has to point to Polaris. Let me turn it a little bit to show you a better view here. Uh, now that stays fixed and this moves around like so as you can see this will give you equatorial tracking or pseudo equatorial tracking it will track an object that's moving across the sky um, something that's uh, you know typically a planet on uh, the ecliptic will uh, you can follow it nicely with this kind of a mount 
Well, this thing doesn't do that. The whole thing goes around like so. It is not a Crawford style mount, not at all. Whole different ball game. Not quite sure why they did this. This is a lot of mechanism down here on a pretty cheap telescope. Uh, the only reason could be to um, impress the prospective buyer, I suppose. I hope you've enjoyed having a look at this ICAO 90mm F840mm telescope from the 1970s. Thank you for watching.